Hey what's up guys this is KD Cloudy and this video is specifically for one of those times where your iPhone or your iPad stops working and I'm not talking about cracked screens if you break your screen I can't really do anything about it and I'm talking about specific software problems like your phone gets stuck on the Apple logo or gets stuck in between uh, a software update or if you're like me an enthusiast like me uh, who likes to kind of jump between different beta profiles developer beta and public beta and something wrong happens something terrible happens to your phone because of certain bugs or anything then it's pretty tragic right or if you like living on the edge you know jailbreaking your iphone or your ipad i mean things could go wrong and when things do get wrong with your iphone and it stops working your best bet is to connect your phone or your ipad to your laptop and then go through the painful process of recovering your backup through itunes assuming you even have made a backup and uh, i've been through it sometimes and i get it how annoying and painful it is but thankfully the sponsor of this video tenorshare makes a software called reibot which will take care of all of these problems and in this video i'll be showing you how to get your iphone from a unresponsive non working state to a working again state so yeah let's get started now the first thing you need to do is connect your iphone or your ipad to your laptop no matter what state it is in and then you should download and install the Tenosha Reiboot software which will be linked in the description fire it up it's available for both windows and mac and right off the bat when you open the software you're basically presented with three main options first is exiting or entering recovery mode second is a standard system repair and third is a deep system repair now point number 1 the recovery mode now recovery mode is a special screen like built into the iOS firmware which will let your connected laptop know that something is wrong with your iPhone and it looks something like this and a little bit different if you're using an older iPhone so basically if you want to enter recovery mode there is a special volume key combo but if you don't want to deal with that reiboot makes it super easy just one click and you're instantly into recovery mode and one click to just exit out of recovery mode is just that easy but that was just recovery mode if you want to actually recover your system that's when we get to the next two options which are system repairs now let's talk about standard system repairs what it does it it does not harm your data it does no data loss and it will just simply download a fresh clean firmware package of the latest iOS version in this case 14.5.1 and install it on your iPhone or your iPad in just one click it's just that easy and it'll pretty much solve pretty much any software related bugs or problems without affecting your data or your apps which is amazing and probably most of the time that's the thing you'll be needing there's another option called the deep repair option which will basically give you a fresh clean start to your phone by not only installing the latest firmware update but also just wiping your phone clean and this could be especially useful in certain rare cases where you're jailbreaking your iPhone and you just want to get your phone back to its working condition so what deep repair will do is just wipe your phone clean it's going to give you a fresh start install the latest software update and when you're done your phone is going to feel like as if you took it right out of the box so yeah that's basically it that's how you use tenosha reiboot to fix your iphone or your ipad or an ipod touch and thanks to tenosha for sponsoring this video hopefully you found this helpful all the links will be in the description I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.